Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm filming the video that answers all your questions uh, related to Cosme One treatment and also to the aftercare um, post treatment and you know all the products you can use, um, what can happen if for example you have too much redness, uh, why do you have so much redness, um, why the you know applying the cream the skin is stinging um when can you uh, go um, on sun exposure can you do different treatments um during the tre um, the treatment like laser treatments laser hair removal um also why is my pigmentation coming back um what am i not doing right or what am i doing wrong um so all those questions will be answered in that video so if you're interested in that you can keep watching um also i would like you to support my small channel if you are on my channel for first time uh, i would just introduce myself i'm eleonora and um I'm very experienced aesthetic practitioner. I'm a skin specialist. I've been in the industry for over 17 years. I absolutely love my job and everything around it. I also have an aesthetic school based in central London, UK. I've got many people from all over the world that um, are coming to our school for training. I'm so happy and proud of that. So I'm receiving the same type of questions. Sometimes I'm receiving an emails. I'm trying to reply all of you. So be patient. I usually will get back to you even if it's a little bit late. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really support my channel because I do that and it's for free. Uh, I don't get any pay for that. And I actually have helped a lot of people around the world. So if you really like the video, if you made it up to here, so means that you like this type of video. So I will be very happy if you can subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up. So I'm very, very happy and I can actually, that can kind of like motivate me to create more content. And also that year, I'm actually excited because I have been uh, working on more videos and I will post more videos um, uh, actually soon and I'll be posting more often. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So let's just dive into the topic. So Cosmelan peel, one of the most um, successful peel for pigmentation in the world. Actually, uh, the brand, which is... Um, a mesoesthetic. It's a Spanish brand that um, have designed that product. I think it's about 10 years now. Um, I've been doing that treatment for about eight years and I have seen absolutely amazing results with it. And uh, I have had many questions based on the treatment. So I will be starting with the questions one by one. I have them in front of me here on my laptop and then I'm gonna answer them and I'll give you my best advice as a person that have been performing that treatment for such a long time. Uh, probably I've done that treatment on over like 500 customers, really. Uh, and um, honestly, it's one of the best of the best, um, best of the best in the, in the world for uh, hypopigmentation, including melasma. Um, so first one, first, first, before I carry on with the actual questions, just wanted to say that um, there are kind of three types of pigmentation that we can treat with um, Cosmelan. We can treat all type of pigmentation pretty much, but like mainly we are treating, you know, sun damage, freckles, um, age spots. We are also treating um, kind of pigmentation post some kind of scars, like uh, post inflammatory pigment hyperpigmentation, like acne scars, post acne. Uh, and also we, we can treat um, melasma, which is hormonal type of pigmentation. I mean, I've been going through a lot of um, kind of... Um, explanations about different type of pigmentation so I'll put some links um, in the description below so we can actually go through and watch those videos. I also have other videos for Cosmelan which I will also put in the description so we can watch them as well but please um, let me know if you have any questions related to that video as well. So let's dive into that. Uh, Cosmelan treatment has been one of the most successful treatments for um, hypopigmentation like dark patches on the skin and this is absolutely proven. We have seen absolutely amazing results in my clinic and I just put something at the front now so we can see that, uh, you know, before and afters, it's just so incredible and you can see literally a couple of weeks, three weeks later, it's just so, so incredible. However, I know many people are performing that treatment at home because they don't have the income, uh, you know, they don't have the financial um, stability to actually afford that treatment in clinic, which is absolutely fine. So therefore, I just feel that it's my um, duty to help you since I'm actually quite experienced in the area and just give you like a very um, more like foundation advice, um, basic advice just, you know, to prevent you damage your skin. Or for example, if you have already done something like that damage, at least I can give you some advice what to do to kind of reverse it. 
as well, okay? Because the treatment is quite um, powerful, it's quite aggressive, so things sometimes can go a bit wrong. So I always recommend you guys to go to a very, um, to professionals that have um, a lot of experience performing that treat those treatments and, um, you know, if you really would like to have best results, okay? So, first question now, let's dive into that. How often can I do Cosme Lamp Peel? So, you can do that peel twice a year for those that have a really strong pigmentation, that, you know, they haven't seen uh, absolutely everything um, completely um, cleared after one uh, single, you know, treatment. They absolutely can perform another treatment six months later. Uh, or, you know, if you feel you want a little bit of break or maybe you think you're going to be a lot, uh, you know, exposing your skin to sun, you can do it once a year. Um, so you can do that until you see that skin is actually quite quite clear out. How long can I use Cosmelan too? So this is another question uh, which I have had multiple times and I'll just say that you can use the Cosmelan too for quite long time so you can use it for years. It's not dangerous because I've had that question as well. Is it dangerous to use it for a long period of time? Not, it's not. No it's not. It's actually based on retinol. It's very good to help your cell turnover, it's very good anti-aging cream, uh, also help you with pigmentation, with even in other skin tones, it's not absolutely not, so you can actually use it for a longer time. Um, of, of course, I will not recommend you to use it if you don't need it, uh, so if you feel that you don't need using it, um, you don't have to use it, but you can sometimes just have it, like, you know, use one pot for about three to four months, once um, a day, like in the evening usually, and you will be absolutely happy with the results once that pot finish, you kind of have quite clear skin so it's a very good way to refresh your skin and just rejuvenate it okay so another question question number three how long should I be on maintenance so maintenance means once you've done the treatment how long you should uh, basically how long you should um, keep using the maintenance um, uh, you know the maintenance on maintenance with Cosmelan 2 yeah or you can switch to something else yes absolutely you can switch Two, um, two creams actually with the, um, from the same company, which are the Melantram 3X. And I've spoken about them many times in my other videos and Melantram uh, 3X Concentrate and Melantram 3X Gel Cream, which are actually combined a treat as a combined treatment because it's much better to use them as um, combi in a combination because it's more powerful. So you can use either them or how long you can use the Cosmelan 2. You can use it as long as you feel that you need it. Okay, so it's not a problem if you use it a couple of years, three years. So you can use Cosmelan 2 for over two years, it's not a problem, or you can use it for one year and then you switch to Melantran 3X Concentrate and gel, gel Cream. I just put picture now so for, for you so you can see that. Why is my pigmentation coming back? Oops. So you've done the treatment, you've had a few months um, without, um, so you've done the treatment, you have a few months cleared pigmentation and then suddenly that pigmentation is coming back. Okay. Well, you know, it's really not good. Um, so there are a kind of um, two types of reasons, okay? Uh, one, one, uh, one of them is um, you haven't been using or applying the products correctly as you have been advised by your practitioner. So probably you have been skipping some applications and it happened to some of my customers or you have decided to not use it for a couple of weeks because maybe they finished and you just felt you don't have money to buy another pot. Um, okay, so, sorry guys. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons. And another one is um, hormonal. So if it's melasma, yes, there is a possibility of melasma to come back. So you actually have to really try to control it. And you can control it if you use actually the Cosmelan 2 for at least nine months to a year and then switch to Melantran 3X concentrate and gel cream. There is another reason actually, third reason that happened recently to one of my customers. She came and we had such a beautiful results. A um, few months after that, no pigmentation. She was so happy with everything. Suddenly she said, my cheeks, you know, the pigmentation starts coming up. I have no idea what's going on. And I'm like, okay, come, come to the clinic. I'll have a look at the area and I will um, absolutely, you know, assess the skin and give you, a, you know, my um, professional opinion. And then what I discovered, she looked a little bit strange. I mean, in terms of like shape of the face. So I was like, what have you done to your face? We said, oh, I just had some fillers done, you know, just like she had some fillers in her cheeks. So this is actually where we had our area con concern, yeah? Concern, um, it was in the cheeks. So 
she have applied the fillers and um, what happened is that she had that um, area because when we put something it's a foreign body uh, the cells you know the only ability of the cells um, is to protect yeah so they have to protect your body needs to protect from that foreign body so the only way to protect sometimes is just creating more pigment layer more, more melanin more pigment more skin color so in her case, actually, she had um, some pigmentation coming back just because of this, because this was like the most um, kind of delicate area. This was the area was where it was like more, um, how to say, fragile, yeah? And especially she was on still on products that she had skin was peeling, was still quite, you know, kind of like, um, yeah, fragile, that's the word. And um, she was, um, you know, everything was clear. She said, well, you know, that makes sense. Since when that pigmentation started coming back? And she said, well, it's a month uh, now. And I said, when did you do the fever? She said, it's a month now, so it's actually the same thing. So we kind of discovered that this is where the problem comes from. Uh, but this is pretty much only um, kind of um, can be seen with melasma patients, like with melasma customers. Um, pretty much everyone else is absolutely extremely happy, especially people with uh, post-acne scars. I absolutely love to do that treatment, post-acne scars, and then I can do laser skin resurface. After that, it's actually a very good prep treatment. Okay, lovely. So this is one of the uh, questions um, as well. Can I change, I mean, can I can I use something else which is a little bit more uh, price uh, friendly uh, instead of Melon Recovery, okay? Um, with Melon Recovery, I just wanted to, to say something. The cream is, um, is lovely, but sometimes it does clog pores. So I usually tell the customers that have a little bit more oily skin to be very careful and use a little bit less. They can either use um, the, the Vital Factor K, okay? So this is a, uh, another one, but also there is a possibility to uh, clog pores or Fast Skin Repair, which is a little bit more gentle to the skin. So you can use that one as well. However, if you think that's too pricey and obviously you cannot afford to use it, you can actually um, use, um, you can use, um, pretty much any moisturizer that is um, thicker a little bit, yeah, so it's more protective and also not closing pores. So I will um, put some links in the description below uh, for some potential that you can actually use, which um, I have tried and I have, um, you know, honestly seen um, okay results, but I always recommend you to use, absolutely to use um, the company's products. Can I use other cleanser, not the brightening foam? You can use other cleansers, yeah, it's fine as soon as you really cleanse the skin properly. Our most, um, the priority is actually to cleanse the skin and apply the, the products, the new, the, like the Cosmelon 2 product and other products on cleansed skin, clear skin, so not it really should be there. So you can use other cleansers, but again, I will always say, it's um, um, actually always advisable to use the company's products because they are specially designed to be used with that treatment. However, you can use other cleanser with, with that treatment, okay? So, um, can I use another sunscreen with Cosmelan Peel? Again, I do recommend you to use this SPF from the company, but yes, again, you can use other sunscreen with that peel. Absolutely, yes. Nothing will happen. I mean, it's not going to cause any harm, okay? But they are, you know, obviously, uh, they, there are ingredients in the products that are also brightening, so it's also very good, um, has very good sun, I mean, it's designed um, to be used with the, with the, with the actual, um, treatment. I've had some people saying that, you know, it gives them a little bit of um, color and they don't really want to use it. I mean, the company has other SPFs, but you know what? Uh, I have no uh, problem, um, you know, if someone really wants to use something else and they cannot really afford at that moment, um, I usually tell them it's fine to use other SPF. I will also put some links um, in the description below where you can actually get um, uh, what kind of sunscreens you can use with um, the actual um, Cosmelan, okay, with the aftercare instead of the actual company's one. So, um, other question, my skin is so red and when I apply the Cosmelan too, it stinks so much. Is that normal? Well, it is very normal, okay. I had that question, goodness, um, probably over 50 or 100 times, I don't know, I have to count them, but it has been on and on again, so I was like, I have to put it here. Uh, absolutely you can and you know it's very um, 
it's very normal the skin to be red i know some people that have more sensitive skin um that it's gonna be even more stinging is normal because skin is very new and you know the nerve endings are more like open and it's so stinging it's not a you know, it feels kind of a little bit swollen, puffed, it feels uncomfortable, you feel that heat on the skin, the eyes are stinging, like you just feel a little bit of like water in, in the eyes, which, you know, happened to me as well. It's very, very normal. Um, if you feel it's extremely red, um, so you can skip one application. Uh, if you feel it's extremely late, you can also, uh, maybe maybe you've overused a little bit product, happened to me and to my customers, um, but yeah, just be very careful with that. And um, in general, you can, um, yeah, just um, just use slightly little bit less, but uh, maybe skip one application, or sometimes I tell my customers to do application on the morning and evening if they feel that if they apply it lunchtime is actually too much for the skin so they can actually switch to morning and evening but um i wanted to mention here something it's not good to completely stop application because the skin cells have get used to those products and suddenly this is a completely change so it's very not good to actually have changes here in that in that way so i do not recommend you to completely stop using it for like a few days and they decide to start again. It's very not good for the skin cells, okay? So, um, when can I expose myself to sun again after Cosmelampio? Well, you can expose yourself to sun usually. Um, I would probably have to disappoint you, but you know, when you do those type of treatments, you shouldn't really expose yourself to sun like you know, I don't know what exactly some of you mean when they say expose myself to sun, uh, because it, I don't, have no idea what they mean actually, but expose myself to sun, I guess they mean just laying down on the beach with, uh, you know, maybe sunscreen, but still laying down on the beach. No, you can't, you should not expose yourself to, to the sun. You should not expose yourself to the sun. You should always have your protection, first of all, but then hat on top, skin shouldn't be exposed to sun because if you do, maybe potentially some of the pigmentation may come back. So you uh, have to always apply SPF. If the sun is not very strong, it's fine. You can walk on the street, but if the sun is very strong and you feel like it's burning the skin, absolutely, you cannot expose to sun. So I'm so sorry about that, but you can't. Uh, I mean, you really have to look after your skin. Okay, good. So, um, uh, question from one of my um, subscribers. Again, um, I just put the whole question here. So it's quite cute. Two days ago. Hi there. I have done this mask at home before. It was great. I'm looking to do another one and I have just been prescribed tretinoin. So I'm wondering how long after doing the Cosmelan can I start the tretinoin process? So if you have completed, like, let's say once you finish with your Cosmelan. So let's say once the pot has finished, like the Cosmelan 2, and you've done that, you know, um, let's say it's about, it's going to be about a month, month and a half, once you finish everything, uh, you can actually carry on with your, um, after, you know, once, once you've done that, you can actually carry on with your um, tretinoin. As soon as you finish with your um, the Cosmelan, as soon as Cosmelan 2 finishes and you're not using those products, you can absolutely carry on same day, next day with tretinoin. Yeah, it's no matter that is prescription with prescription. Okay, so um, just three days. Okay, it's just three days. I use Cosmelan pack treatment, and I have question if I can apply moisturizer before or after Cosmelan two cream. You need. Just three days I use Cosmelan pack treatment and I have question if I can apply moisturizer before or after Cosmelan 2. Always moisturizer need to be applied after the Cosmelan 2 treatment. Um, so another question is use exactly as I said but there is no noticeable peeling. So there is a subscriber that have used it exactly as I have said it but there is no um, noticeable peeling at all and here I am in the second month um, of use please what should I do I want your advice so probably the product is not um, real um, it should it should be peeling the skin should be peeling there is no way for the skin not to be peeling so probably you have to just check again the video the application the amount of um, product applied on the skin because you know a means that it has not been applied properly 
it, there is no way for the skin not to peel. There is something wrong. Either the product has expired or, you know, maybe you opened it and it just like jewelry stayed there. I, I, I don't know what is, but it should peel. So, you know, you have to maybe reflect on what you have done and go back and just, you know, revise that. Um, can I use Melan Trantri X and Cosmelan 2 at at same time? Um, so there is no point of using Cosmelan 2 and Melan Trantri X together as a application in one application. You apply Cosmelan 2 one thing. If there is a morning application and you don't want to apply Cosmelan 2, then you can apply the Melan Trantri X concentrate and gel cream. You shouldn't really um, combine them together in a single application. Okay. Hi, I had the Cosmelan one applied five weeks ago. I have had very rough time with it. My face was very badly swollen from day two for three days. I have had intense burning and redness. It has now calmed down, but my skin is very, very itchy. I'm currently applying Cosmelan 2 twice a day with melon recovery and sunscreen. I also apply fast skin repair and Hydra Vital Factor K as I have a lot of dryness. When when will my skin get back to normal as it's making me depressed? Well, I'm so sorry for your experience. Um, usually it's not normal to be that red and swollen. I mean, it's fine to be a little bit, you know, red and swollen, uh, a little bit puffed and stuff like that, but not like extremely, extremely swollen. So I will be super honest. I feel um, it's possible to have had a little bit of allergic um, aller allergy reaction, okay, allergic reaction, which is which is fine. In cases like that, I mean, when it's too much, I would just say, just take some antihistamine. I mean, nothing has gone like that wrong. It should go back to normal, but if this is the case, usually I would say discontinue using the product and apply pseudo cream. In my, um, one of my other videos, um, you know, which you can, see link as well below um it's i will actually explain in how to deal with some kind of um, um you know complications after application maybe a little bit of burn what to do but usually just continue using the product and start applying pseudo cream which is quite um affordable as well it's not expensive at all and you can just apply it and the skin will recover very very fast you can also apply some other baby creams that helps with skin repair which is absolutely fine as well uh, to the skin repair and then you can go back to cosmelan too. However, in your case, since you had that reaction, I would just say that probably you had some, you had reacted, okay, you've had reacted to some of the ingredients, which I'm not sure which ingredient because, you know, everyone is different, but it's possible, okay? So that's my answer to that question. Another question is, can I do other treatment during Cosmelan 2 application and how long after the Cosmelan 1? So usually, to be honest, during the Cosmelan 2, I wouldn't recommend you to do any other treatments. I mean, you can only do really um, skin needling. Needling is fine uh, because the skin is very photosensitive. So we don't want to do anything really, uh, for example, laser treatments um, because the skin is photosensitive and there is a high risk of, you know, um, burning or damaging. So it's not, it's not advisable. Uh, but yes, you can do like a mild facials. It's fine. How um, Cosmelon to pots I need to buy and for how long. So let's say you've done the treatment. I said usually the treatment time uh, when we treat melasma, it's nine months at least. So usually in the nine months, you will probably have the first pot. It will last you from the aftercare a kit will last you for about a month. The second pot will last you for two to three months. The third pot will last you for the fourth, fifth and sixth month. Fourth pot will last you for the seventh, eighth, ninth, and ten. This is like a rough idea. Of course, this depends on how much uh, uh, product you apply, and also it depends on the size of the face because, or like you know, if you apply a little bit on the neck as well, it really depends because sometimes clients have quite big face, so of course it's gonna be you know more on um, a product. Sometimes clients have smaller face, then less product. Yeah. So it, but rough idea. So I give you here. And then after the 10th month or like the year, you can actually start using Melantran um, Concentrate and Gel Cream. So I want to also say here, and it's a um, disclaimer, um, this video, it's purely my personal opinion, okay? So I do not work for a um, mesoesthetic company. I'm not one of their staff. So uh, this is purely my opinion. This is my YouTube channel. And I would just say that anything you do, it's purely your choice. Uh, if you are obviously not based in London and you cannot come to, to me, to my clinic, to, to have a look at your skin, and just advise you accordingly, I would just say, um, just go to where you are based and go to someone that is experienced doing that treatment. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm extremely um, happy 
if you have made it up to here means you're my true uh, fans and my um, yeah kind of like get some inspiration from me uh, I um, am very happy to help you you can put any uh, of your questions in the comment section below as I said um, I'm very experienced experienced esthetician I train people from all over the world um, how to perform advanced treatments I've got training school in the heart of London and also a skin clinic um, by now I'm hands-on I treat customers and I love it absolutely so I teach I treat customers and I also uh, manage my school thank you so much for um, watching that video support my little channel with um, uh, like subscribe to my channel and also give me some thumbs up and uh, yeah I hope I will see you in my next video but by then I wish you have a successful week and um, also health and love. Thank you.